Daddy Dad one here. <clears throat> Check this out. This is from the Telegraph. Sunday, 18th November 2012. Um, Israeli forces prepare war for war as troops mass on Gaza border. Um, my take on this whole thing is that Gaza is to the Islamic ruling class caliphate, so to speak, um, people. Gaza is the little boy that they send in to pick out a target to curse at him, spit at him, kick him in the shin, throw rocks at him. And then when the guy grabs the boy up to uh, discipline him for his actions, then here come the parents, furious and mad. How dare you touch my kid, blah, blah, blah. Then you come the friends' parents. Then you come all the rest of the relatives and kinfolk. Then you got the whole community stirred up. Because you're the, you're the bad guy then. You have become the bad guy. Okay? Israel is going to be called the bad guy here. Even though all the surrounding regions being Muslim regions they've called for this to be a jihad holy war which there's nothing holy about war <laughs> I don't know why they call it that but uh yeah Israel's gonna uh, be called the big bad bully and they're gonna show all this stuff to the world how Israel's just kicking this poor pitiful little guys down I mean they're telling them all in Gaza that they're guaranteed to be martyrs and that they'll guarantee to have all the things in heaven with all of it they, that they want. So uh, go ahead and listen to the mainstream media and feed, feed into their bull crap lies because the, it's, it's bull crap. They're not telling the truth on this thing. And uh, I believe Israel has every right to defend itself. I have every, they have every right to not want to become an Islamic state, just like everybody else around them. There's, uh, there's two choices, or maybe three, you can do when the Muslims defeat you and take control. You either A. Convert B. Not convert and then you have A and B. Either become a slave or become headless. That's in the Quran. Okay, I'm not making this up. That's why we had such a problem with them when we sent a ship over there to Tripoli where the whole Marine stuff started at. It's because they said, you're infidels, uh, everything you belong, uh, everything that belongs to you now belongs to us because you are infidels, you are not Muslims and so you are inferior you are our uh, slaves basically that, that, that's what it is go, go look into it yourselves but uh, yeah this is this is major anxiously scanning the skies for vapor trails of the Moss rockets flying overhead towards their homes Israel tanks crews are preparing on Sunday or Saturday for an invasion of Gaza and they're going to do it 
and then the world is going to freaking call for their blood because they're going to stomp the freaking people into the dust. But uh, it's all here on the the telegraph. It's www.telegraph.co.uk. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below. But yeah, this is this is exactly what's going on. This is just their little sacrificial lamb. That's who Gaza is for the world, for the Islamic world anyway. Their sacrificial little lamb to go in there and get beat up and hurt so people can get mad and uh, take it out on the big, bad, mean Israelis. They have every right to defend themselves and, and stay a state, a country, like they won their independence for. And I think they should have all the land that they had promised to them. They need to have the uh, Dome of the Rock tore down and rebuild Solomon's Temple right up on that friggin' spot. It's gotta happen. It's got to happen. Anyway, uh, this is what's going down, people. Their ground troops are going in. Hope everybody's doing well. This is Chatty Dad One. God bless. Good luck to us all. Sign those petitions. Never give up your guns. And uh, live free or die. Over and out.